Hello, it's me Boone, and here I'm going to be talking about all the changes that have happened in Wally in the past few months. Um, well, there's a lot of gameplay changes and a lot of lighting effects, and probably like lighting effects are probably the thing that people are most excited about. So, you know, I'd like to present these wonderful rim lights. We spent, uh, Ian Silves spent time working on this. Um, we orig originally I was able to figure out how to do this by like asking the creator of Katana Zero and he sent me a Unity tutorial and with that tutorial we uh, were able to transfer it into Game Maker's uh, kind of like OpenGL program, OpenGLS I believe that's what it's called, I hope I'm calling it right, and we were able to like use it in Wally. And the cool thing is we can use it on, you know, our guns, our gems, there's a lot of amazing effects and hopefully we'll be able to see it. But look at the way the the light kind of interacts with the box and the walls see how it's like separate collisions it's very very efficient and it's it's one of our <laughs> it's, a, it's our secret it's a it's a really amazing shader and i'm so happy we've been able we literally spent like an entire uh, game jam session just on that lighting effect uh there have been many changes to wally and one of them has been through the range of the gun it's kind of well, the idea behind it is you're really fast in this game, and roguelites and games are kind of defined by their limitations most of the time. Well, roguelites especially, because you know when you have a limitation, you can maybe go around it, or when you know when you become so overpowered towards a late game, you know those limitations that you had in the very beginning kind of get, you know, uh, you know you're able to find enough things to make up for the limitations that you had. So for one example would be Binding of Isaac, only being able to shoot up, down, left, and right, you know, but maybe you find an upgrade that lets you shoot in diagonal directions as well. Uh, now that could be one really cool example. Another great example is playing Nuclear Throne and having a gun that doesn't shoot for too much damage, but then later you find a gun that shoots for a lot of damage and then you get this immediate power surge. It feels amazing. And I want to make the, a really amazing roguelike, so I I wanted to make sure that we, everything we are doing is to kind of serve the genre and make sure that you know we're delivering that power fantasy as amazingly as possible. We're still you're still going to be able to find you know the overpowered items such as the boomerang, the sword, and all that good stuff but you're not going to start out with them, and that's a really big distinction. You'll still be able to find them, but you won't start out with them. It's going to make that way when you do find them, it'll feel that much special. Um, the next thing that I added are these things called events. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make a very special event happen that will only occur if you end up not uh, taking damage in the first floor. It felt like for a lot of new people that are going to be playing Wally, uh, maybe they would take damage in this early area. And if they do, then maybe it would be a good idea to help them out. But maybe you're a person, you're someone who's played a lot of Wally, someone who doesn't really need a lot of help. So I thought it would be really nice, I'll go over this later, I thought it'd be really nice to go over and make something for the veterans, some people who have who are really good. So we, we created this character called Chad, and he says, hey dude, I can tell by your skills that you're really good for such a cool dude like yourself. I can get you a real run. None of this easy stuff, what you say. And then you can accept Chad's challenge. Now, I am so happy and grateful. I got to meet Juju, uh, Juju Adams, and he has this amazing uh, text uh, editor called Scribble that I was able to use and with his help we were able to like create this sort of amazing transition to each uh, individual letter and one of the cool things about it is that it like you can put like sprites with it and the treat sprites in the same way that it would treat like letters so when we take Chad's challenge one of the biggest changes is now we use the sword well we now have access to the sword but we also are well, the game is going to be a lot harder now. Oh, this is one of my favorite lighting. So that 
because it's like not only interacting with the player but with the walls and oh isn't that amazing jesus another really great change is that the potions now have bendy straws <laughs> we didn't want to add any drinking animations so i was uh showcasing wally in a, in a server and someone said what if you just like add a little straw and i'm like that's genius <laughs> we're doing that right now so yeah <laughs> yep. the next thing that i um uh, so the next thing that i added was the first upgrade that you're ever going to find in Wally is a handcrafted, very specific upgrade that is always going to be good, but it's uh, but you won't be able to choose the first thing. After that, you'll be able to, to choose between one or the other. But the first upgrade is all you know. It's it's always going to be given to you, and it's always going to be really good. Uh, this one in particular, what it does is your you know your gun is now going to shoot two bullets per shot. Uh, dealing 65% uh, damage. It was a little bit of accuracy, but it's really good if you can find something that like can stack on your bullets, like uh, poison or criticals. And another cool thing is now our gun even changed colors. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I made this little uh, makeshift jar that shoots. People kept asking, like, what are you shooting? Are you shooting a, uh, you know, magic? I don't know. And so we, I figured it'd be nice to have some kind of item that made it, item that made it something so, uh, you know, something that allows you to see where your bullets are coming from, basically. And this was uh, what I wanted to add. I didn't really want to add any guns. I really want to tie guns. Like, this seemed like, like, it was, it's, I just wanted something that I could use squash and stretch functions, basically large enough to use. It's always going to be behind Wally, and it's never going to be in front of him, because we don't want to obscure Wally's face. And now after this, you'll see that now we can choose one item or the other. Uh, choose between two upgrades instead of a random one from a chest. That sounds pretty good. Let's see if we can. And when doing chat's challenge, we'll also get this kind of amazing song. I'll give you something good. But the next boss will be tough as heck. All right, good luck, my dude. All right, let's go uh, select one item. Uh, let's take this one because this one we kind of need the boomerang for. Maybe we'll find the boomerang and we'll be able to use it with that mirror. And we have several bombs, so we can use it to try to you know, use value. Okay, and another potion. All right, <laughs> that's good. We got something good. Dungeons are going to be generally really, really small now. They only uh, last three floors, and I'll save rid of the birds because the dungeons felt a little bit dead and stuff. But having the just having the birds, flowers, and all of these wonderful things just made the dungeon much more alive. It was just a little bit of life, you know. And then, uh, if it isn't one of the greatest bosses that have ever, has ever existed, Fox Lion. But he has a couple of new attacks, actually. It's... Oh my gosh, I wish I could, like... I just want to rework all the bosses now. And... Oh no, we gotta use our dodger ability. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah, got him. I want to just rework all the other bosses, because this... Uh, Attack is absolutely gorgeous. It's the uh, it's that uh, old porcupine that uh, final enemy attack. I don't know if you guys remember that. Oh, oh let's yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> oh, that's poison on the left. <laughs> oh, and then you know one really nice detail was I made it so that. The, the leaves kind of come down, cascading down when you feed the final boss. It's a little small detail, but I think it's really cute. Um, now, this is another big addition that I've added to, uh, to all of these. There's a lot more things to choose from. And, well, let me tell you what each thing does. <laughs> because, oh my gosh. So the first thing is, um, 
you can restore three hearts. And the reason why I included this is because if you, you know, if you end up taking a lot of damage from, you know, from the boss, you're going to be really be needing health, right? So I figured, you know, uh, let's give you a instant solution. But here's a really great kicker is if you don't take any damage at all, then obviously you're not going to need this anymore, right? Because, you know, you didn't take damage. You're a boss. Of course you don't need it. So if you don't take any damage from the boss, you'll naturally be able to choose more things. So it's like this hidden, like a uh, reward for people that are like, you know, really good at the game. You know, it's, as people play and get better, they won't need to select this every time. You know, they'll be able to choose more upgrades. Or even if they are very low in health, they go, well, I don't want to choose the, the, the apples. I just want to choose, you know, things. So. You know, if, if that's the case, then it create also creates a sort of high-risk, high-reward type of gameplay style. Oh, and it's Chad again. <laughs> we can talk to him. Now that's what I'm talking about. Your coolness will be rewarded. How about picking three upgrades? I gotta go. Take care of yourself. By the way, that keep that sword. Looks good on you. Say hi to the guys on the Discord for me. Oh, ciao. So, yeah, no, typically you start out with two upgrades, but because we did the Chad challenge, now we'll able to choose three i figured it'd be like a good reward for people that are like you know living life on the edge uh -huh. so here are the other things um spawn an awesome weapon so in previous iterations of volley you would every okay this was a really interesting uh thing for me to learn every um other floor you would get like a new weapon you know in nuclear throne you get weapons pretty uh pretty not super often, but think of it like Super Crate Box. I don't know if you guys have ever played that game, but like you get a new gun almost every like 10 seconds. It's, you know, you, you have a new gun, you drop it after like 10 seconds, you get a new one. And that's how early Wally -E two months ago felt. And there was a really big con about that type of playstyle, which was you tended to see like most runs tended to fe feel very similar because you know even though like you're getting a lot of random weapons you're i don't know like there was no way to do really differentiate one run between the other because all of them you know like you would end up seeing the majority of the weapons just in different orders and i felt like that wasn't like it wasn't like a unique experience enough because like since every run you'd be seeing at least all the weapons so i felt like it would be better to just make one really, really good weapon that you would start out. You wouldn't, uh, maybe you wouldn't even need to like throw it away. You know, like Binding of Isaac's uh, Tears. You would just keep adding more and more to it until it became a ridiculously powerful weapon. And that's sort of the the kind of playstyle I kind of want to go with. The other weapons are gonna be extras. If you desire and wish, and find an early weapon enough. You'll be able to like upgrade it and add, uh, add. <laughs> oh look, it's the boomerang, and add uh, really cool mechanics. Like if we grab the boomerang, and looks like we grab, found this from this chest. Choose one. We can apply poison to our boomerang, which would be kind of cool. So that's the yeah, that's the idea. And now, you know, the next time we see a weapon, we might have to fight a boss or, you know, or you know, go through some special event at the end of the level uh the next items are you know uh, uh it's a slay the spire kind of <laughs> item where you get a lot of, of res a lot of a resource but you lose some kind of information or something really great upgrade this one was designed by nick uh this one's really really useful every time you deal damage uh 150 damage you'll be getting an apple and you can only have one of these quests per time per well at a time so if we grab this one it'll replace the one we have which gives us money oh we can actually activate this one right now which now we yeah, we could probably get this one uh the next thing is the bomb uh, well, we can get select five bombs what this does is yeah just five bombs oh, look at it isn't it really cute it's one of the really nice things about scribble is you can actually add sprites that are animating inside the text box and it just it works so seamlessly uh, we can also increase our maximum health, you know, 
uh, but you can only choose this like two times. Now, my personal favorite. You see, after making all of these upgrades, I felt there were a couple of runs when I was like playing and I was thinking, man, I kind of don't want to get any of these. I wish there was a, like a last option that was like a like a dice roll kind of thing. And so I thought, you know, what if we had an item and it's, you know, an, a last option. And what it would do is it would spawn a random upgrade, right? That's all it would do. It would spawn a random upgrade. All right. No, no biggie. Okay. We might be asking. Boone, why are you why are you making such a big deal? Well, the idea was genius. You see, I just made this like little square that I, and I just you know and but the thing is I started animating animating him, giving him a little bit of a bounce, just a little bit, and then when I put him alongside these other upgrades, I noticed how you know alongside everything he he was trying to like grab your attention like hey hey look at me I'm I'm here you know I exist. And so I kind of thought, you know, this this sprite is literally yelling out, pick me, pick me, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm a good upgrade for, for the love of God, pick me. And I felt like, oh my gosh, there is a joke here and I can push it. And so I thought, what if, what if he had a bunch of like different sayings that he was like, you know, every single moment he was like trying to, his absolute best to get you to pick him. He'll say anything. He'll barter. He'll, you know, uh, he'll barter. He'll try to maybe even seduce. He'll try to you pick me. He'll, I'll get you a date. Try to bargain. Anything. Anything. He'll just say anything. Kind of like maybe Space Fear from Portal 2. Or just some, um, yeah, just, you know, I imagine like since he's sort of like designed to be like the option that, you know, you, you only pick last, you know, he doesn't get picked a lot. So, you know, even, even. <laughs> She made his name so that it says box that never gets picked. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It doesn't, it doesn't, like, even though the title, like, looks nice when it's, like, smaller than the description, I felt like, I don't know, it's, it's such a tragic character. <laughs> and then when you walk away, he has these custom voice lines. It's like, oh, finally, going to be chosen. No, 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 you're making a mistake. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. And then if you like buy something else that isn't him, why are you like this? <laughs> Such a oh, and that's the that's the character. Um, yeah. So uh, we'll 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 pick him though. We'll definitely pick him to as as a great great way to end this devlog. Um, there we go, let's select it. We got attack speed to our current weapon type. Okay, it's a little faster and also change the the color so it's red now after choosing that upgrade. So yeah. That is how Wally currently is going. It's it just feels like it's in such a wonderful place now. Like yeah, I'm super happy with how it's how it's turned out. Right now I'm I know I'm gonna be making releasing all of this on steam soonish i like like right now is when i think it's the best i just got to make the the big update with all the changes look at this oh my gosh the, this transition oh it feels so nice anyways thank you very much i hope you have a wonderful day if you have any feedback any comments any i don't know like just let me know in the comments this is yeah it's like this is a this feels like the the most professionalish dev lock that I've made so far. Um yeah. Take care guys. Love you both.